Welcome to our tutorial on the Auto Constraint command in CATIA. Let's start by creating geometry. Double click here to activate the rectangle tool. Here we have one inch set for our primary spacing and it is divided into four graduations. We did cover this in a previous lesson, remember? Tools, Options, Sketcher, Primary Spacing, and Graduations. Click OK. Double click the Rectangle tool again. I'm going to create four half inch by half inch squares. They will be separated by half an inch. And let's create one more rectangle. Now, in the Operation toolbar, I'll select Quick Trim and trim these lines. Click on Quick Trim again to deselect it. OK, let's go to Tools, Sketch Analysis. Let's have a look. Yes, we indeed have a closed profile. Next, let's select the entire profile. And from the Constraint toolbar, I will select the Auto Constraint command. We have elements to be constrained, 20 lines and 20 points. Our next field is Reference Elements. I will select the bottom line and the far left line. From Constraint Mode, I'm going to choose Chained. Click OK. Let's move this constraint a little. And now, to fully constrain this sketch, I'm going to apply the Fix command. We can do the same by clicking Constraint Definitions and selecting Fix. Click OK. Now we have a fully constrained sketch. I have four values which I'd like to keep equal. Now I'm going to show you how to tie them together. Right click, select Object, and Edit Formula. Select this value here and click OK. Let's move. OK. The next one, right click, Offset, Edit Formula, and select our value. You see, the equal sign here. Click OK. And last one. Right click. Edit formula. Again, equal to this value. Click OK again. And now watch what happens. Double click. And let's change this value to th three quarters of an inch. When I click OK, all four lines changed at the same time. All right, let's change it back to half an inch. Let's delete these geometrical constraints now in the specification tree. I expand the constraints branch. I see these offsets down to the bottom. I can shift select them. I delete them all the way down to fixed. Just click delete. Now I'll select the whole geometry again. Click the auto constraint command. 
As you can see, all 20 lines and points are selected. I'm going to choose the same reference elements, but now I'll select a stacked constraint mode. Okay, let's clean this up a little bit. And I'm going to fix these two lines in space. Now you see the geometry is green, which means it's fully constrained. And this concludes our tutorial on the auto-constraint command.